Bye bye, baby. I think I'm all. Pardon me for saying, a lovely figure. I saw you looking at my breasts. That's okay. It's only natural. Besides, I'm proud of them. I'll stack them up against anybody else's. Oh man, fun! Pardon me for saying, a lot. Oh. Fawn's arms are smooth, strong, and lithe. Do you lift weights or something? Um, I use exercise bands mostly. Her silken, honey-hued hair cascades in relaxed curls about her face. The image of a Venus flytrap flits through your mind for a moment, but you brush the thought away. Her eyes bore through your soul and into your thalamus, shorting you out and making you little more than her slave. Her slightly parted baby doll lips, her innocent but knowing expression, her perfect cheekbone structure. They're okay if you like that sort of thing. Her slightly parted baby doll lips, her innocent but knowing expression. They're okay if you like. Hiya, baby. What say you and I get it on? Phew, Larry, you've really- Get lost, creep. Hey, Toots. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Say, Larry, is that a Pez dispenser in your pocket? Or are you just lonely? They're not mutually exclusive. Hey, sweetheart. What's your sign? Octagonal. As in, stop. I like that. You're fast. No, I'm not fast, but I'm with every minute of the wait. Woohoo, Larry! So, uh, what's your name, beautiful? Fawn. Somehow you knew that. I'd really like to get to know you better, Fawn. Just what kind of girl are you? I'm just a girl who can't say no. All right, Larry, this is what you've been waiting for. To nice presents. Oops. How about we get out there on the dance floor, fool around a little? And we could dance some, too. I'm not sure, Larry. You see, I like a particular kind of man. And I don't know if you're the particular kind of man who ends up getting a particular kind of woman like me. I'm not sure I follow you. Ooh, she's resisting gently. It's a come on. Keep going, Larry. If anybody can screw this up, you can. What if I take you away from here, Fawn, to someplace quiet? We could go to my place. Assuming you had a place. That sounds fun. Just as long as you're not cheap. I prefer men with means. Means? What kind of means? I like what any woman likes, Larry. I like flowers, I like sweets, I like jewelry. Can you get me those things, Larry? Can you get me everything I need to feel luxurious and free? And totally ready to give you everything you always dreamed of? Everything? And more. You see, I'll do anything for the right man, Larry. Anything. Are you the right man, Larry? Are you going to be the right man for me tonight? Oh my. She certainly has you standing at attention. Could Fawn be the one, Larry? Your one-way ticket to fulfillment? Okay, baby. I'll be back soon. With presents. Gee, you smell terrific. Fawn regards you. I'm working on finding you everything you want, baby. And giving it all to you right away. I'll wait, Larry. For a little while. I'll be back before you know it. Check and mate.
And that is how the game is played. Oh, Larry, I just love roses. Oh, Larry, I just love candy. Oh, Larry. Oh, Larry, I just love your presence. Dance with me, you adorable fool. goes wild. Larry, that was incredible. I've never done that with a man before. It was so exhilarating. Are you as turned on as I am? Always. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I hope. like your dreams are about to come true. <laughs> you give Fawn your wa- All right! Two hundred dollars! Thank you, my sweet. I'm going to the casino right now to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesars. Then I'll meet you at the wedding ready next to the casino. Don't be late, my love. Fawn hands you back your wallet, two hundred dollars lighter, and rushes off. Congratulations, Larry. You're one step closer to connubial bliss. It's cool and placid inside. The lilting classical music and softly flickering candles give the room an air of serene, peaceful redundancy. In fact, it absolutely stinks of tranquility in here. Fawn is standing at the ready at the end of the room. Next to her is a man dressed like some sort of clergyman. Larry, we're all ready for you. We do have one little thing to take care of, though. It's $100 for the marriage certificate, the ceremony, and the decorations. The decorations are extra? If you're too cheap to spring for them, I'll just take them down. Larry, no decorations? No, no, leave them up. I'll... I'll take care of it. Of course you will, Larry. After all, how often does a man who isn't Larry King get married? It's a video slot machine. Have they no shame? Those new PFLs, penile fluorescent lights, get very bright and generate a lot of heat, but they burn out quickly. The minister is none other than Jimmy Ted Braggart himself, direct from his megachurch to your marriage ceremony. With brief stops at the debtor's prison, the William Morris Agency, and a liquor store, he appears to be having a little trouble with the floor's persistent steadiness. Fawn's expression seems to be a mixture of impatience and boredom. Is that what breathless anticipation looks like? Let's get this thing rolled. Absolutely, my love. It'll be a hundred in cash, please. And I don't take inflatable love dolls. What? Hot 
dog. Now we're ready to knock this thing out. Finally. You all settle into basic position. A hush falls over the players at home. Barely beloved. Sorry, let me restart that. Merely beloved. Jim. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. You know how I get. Dearly beloved. We are gathered here today to join this main and this woo main. Blah, 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 blah. Do you, Lance Laster, take this woman? It's Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? I thought you said... Just go. Do you, Larry, Larry Laffer, take this woman? Blah, blah. Sickness and hell forsaken and the rest. I... I do. Do you, Fawn Forschwanger? Forschwanger? Take this man to be to be your blah 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 honor and comfort and bail. Right. I mean, I do. You've got the ring. I have to have another ring. No, no, no. I've already got the ring. Keep this thing moving. Then, by the power invested in me, Jimmy Ted hereby declares you done and done. Congratulations. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm headed down to the wine cellar. It's inventory time again. <laughs> Employees only, I'm sure y'all understand. Fawn throws her arms around you and almost kisses you. Oh, Larry. Isn't it romantic? What's she talking about? Did something romantic happen here by mistake? I'll meet you at the honeymoon suite, Larry. Ready to give you my all, my everything, my very soul. Don't keep me waiting. I can't wait to take advantage of you. She's not done with that yet? Well, congratulations, Larry. You're a married man. Time to get over to the honeymoon suite and hang a sign on the door. Gone consummating. Is that you? Larry? Larry. It sure is, baby. Come on in. I'm ready for you. You walk into the honeymoon suite. Your blushing bride is waiting for you. Hello, Larry. You're here at last. Forgive me if I'm a little shy. I've never been with a man who meant so very, very much to me. Excellent! Larry, your breath is making it harder for me to love. Fawn is watching you expectantly. Larry, we're married now. No more talk. No more dancing. It's time for you and me to consummate. I just need some music or something, you know? Let's make the mood even more perfect. Technically, that's not possible. Shut up. I mean... Be that way, oopsie poopsie. It's one of those replica old timey radios. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. Jeez, why can't they make a radio that gets stations at all these little numbers? We'll be back to our commercial-free four-hour Barbara Streisand Marathon after this commercial message. I don't understand that. How many times has this happened to you? You've just gotten married, and you forgot to get the perfect bottle of wine for your honeymoon. Don't ask the hotel to send up their finest bottle of rotten, overpriced garbage. 
Don't settle for trashy boxed wine they sell at the convenience store. The taxi driver will probably drink it all and you'll end up in a fiery crash. Don't let that happen to you. Call Snappy Liquors. We deliver anywhere, anytime in five minutes or less. How do we do it? That's what I'd like to know. Simple. We buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you. That doesn't answer the question. So call now, 555-8039. That's 555-8039. Liquor quick with snappy liquors. And now, back to more Barbara. Fawn turns off the radio. I thought you wanted music. Larry, wine would be even better than music. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Go order us some of that wine, Larry. Please? It'll make everything absolutely perfect for our, you know, canubial joining. That's so romantic. Right away, dears. Come on in. Oh, Larry, it's you. I thought it was that cute young delivery boy again. Hmm, what does she mean by that? Oh, well, you decide to let it pass. After all, this is your wedding night. It brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, Dunkin' Donut. So, Larry. Leave the bucket where it is. It's cold, wet, and heavy. For you. Enchanté. Here's to us. Here's to you, Larry. All right, Larry. The stars have aligned. Love is all around. Life's sweetest reward. The sun is gonna surely shine. Now use those three words every young woman in love longs to hear. How about now? Yes, Larry. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Goody! Are you relaxed, my love? Yes! Are you ready for me? Yes! Oh, yes! Then... Let's get ready to rumble! Come on, man! Doesn't bend that way! Get out of the way! You're a slippery little thing, aren't you? What happened? Whew. That was great for me. How was it for you? Uh... Is that it? That's it. Thanks for everything, Lance. It's Larry. Thanks for the ring, the candy, the money, the this, the that, the contents of your wallet. You did forget to pay me for the wine. No. Oh. I left you a few bucks. I'm not totally heartless. Just mostly. And thanks for the wine and... Oops, <laughs> you got me monologuing. See you later, sucker. Fawn? Sweetheart? A lesser man would be torn to shreds by this turn of events. But not you, Larry. You've got optimism. You've got resilience. You've got to find a way out of here. Very clever, Larry. You managed to work your knife out of your pants and use it to slice the bungees until... Well done, Larry. You're free. You quickly dress. Now you're feeling ready to go back out and conquer the world. Again. The cheap knife broke in the process, so you dispose of it as any responsible gamer would do.